North Korea's increasing threats to the U.S. have worried more than just the United States. On a six-day trip to China, Australian leaders will bring up the issue with their Chinese counterparts. As North Korea's biggest ally and trading partner, Australia hopes Beijing can help contain Pyongyang's belligerence. Australian Prime Minister Julia Gillard is travelling to China on Friday, where she plans to meet with high-level officials and attend the Boao Forum for Asia. Gillard is planning to discuss their country's trade and political relations, something she says is growing more and more important with time. The timing of this visit so soon after the new leadership has entered into office is deliberate and reflects the importance of our rapidly evolving relationship with China and our high-level political oversight of that relationship. And more broadly, it reflects the centrality of Asia in the story of our nation in the 21st century. Australian Foreign Minister Bob Carr will accompany Gillard. He plans to talk to Chinese leaders about North Korea's increasing nuclear threats. He hopes to persuade China to put pressure on Pyongyang, given Beijing's position as the North's only major ally. North Korea's military released a statement today saying it had received approval from the higher-ups allowing it to attack the U.S. and South Korea. Australia's defense minister said there are measures to protect Australians in South Korea in the event of an attack. Analysts say that North Korea still lacks the technology to launch a nuclear missile. However, the U.S. defense minister has joined Bob Carr in his concern, saying North Korea poses a real and clear danger to the U.S. and its allies.